All right, number 30 is um, dealing with springs now. So we're, in terms of main concepts, we're going down, down a little bit to Hooke's Law, and which is this, and then work due to a spring, which is this. Um, skipping this for now, but of course you should know from the notes that this comes from this through this. All right. 30. So this one has a figure with it. It's just a little graph. I'm going to draw it slightly differently. I'm going to label what they neglected to label. So um, they didn't label the y-axis, basically. This is a uh, fs is 160 newtons. So this is 160, which makes this negative 160. Anyway, and then the graph goes, and then over here it's two, <coughs> one, negative one, <coughs> excuse me, ah, negative two. Yeah, so um, what this gives us, is, this is a force versus position uh, graph, and um, so that allows us basically to figure out the slope of this line because Hooke's law is F equals negative kx. And let me iterate, reiterate, re, re, reiterate. The negative is not with the k. Maybe I should rewrite it as negative xk, but you won't see this anywhere. And it just looks weird. It just feels weird. Um, but really, the x, the negative is with the x because remember that the spring force acts in the opposite direction as the displacement, and so that's what the negative is telling you. So k is actually always a positive value. Anyway, just just wanted you to remember that. So where does this come from, by the way? This is y equals mx plus b. B uh, b b. Uh, looking at this graph, b is zero. And um, y is f, x is x. So what's m? What's the slope of this graph? Because that will give us our k value. Well, m is essentially negative well, uh, 160 over 2, which is essentially negative 80. Um, but again, that's I don't want. That's where I knew confusion would probably happen. Um, for, well, first off, this is uh, newtons per centimeter. K is not negative. This negative is this negative here. So if we want K, we're just gonna make that positive because this tells you how strong the spring is. And then. We're going to turn that to meters by multiplying by a th 100 centimeters in one meter. So we got 8,000 newtons, newtons per meter is the spring constant. Now that we know that, then everything else is golden. Gravy, cheese. Work is 1 half K times the quantity x initial squared minus x final squared. And so for a, you plug in the numbers, you get 1 half times 8,000. Now, uh, x initial, given in the problem, is always 8 meters per second. Uh, uh, sorry, uh, I was looking at 29. 30, it's 8 centimeters, or 0 0.08 meters squared minus part A, we're going to 5 centimeters, so that's going to be 0 0.05 squared, and that gives us 15.6 joules. Now I'm going to just blow through this. B, uh, we, we start at the same every time, so every single problem is going to look like this. 
every single part, A, B, C, and D, 0 0.08 squared, and it's this that's going to change. So uh, for here, it's negative 0 0.05 meters, and that's going to equal the same amount. What is going on here? It doesn't matter whether you go um, from 8 to 5 or 8 all the way to 0, all the way to negative 5. It's the same amount. Yeah, because uh, you get some cancellation of work. You got some positive work and negative work canceling out, and whatever's left over is the same. That's, that's, that's how it works. Re what, is, what do I mean by that? Well, going from 8 to 5. We'll just 8 to 5 centimeters. Uh, we get some positive work here, right? And then we go from 5 to 0, and that's other positive work. Then we go from 0 to negative 5, that's negative work, the same amount of uh, negative work as what we had here. And then, wait, wait hold on a sec. Cam back. All right, yeah, so anyway, so uh, same amount of negative work here as the positive work here. So these cancel out, and we're left essentially with the same amount. That's why these are the same. All right, so C. So this is all the same, yada, yada, all the same. But what's different is the this here. We're going to negative 0 0.08 squared. Of course, this equals 0 for the same logic I was using up here. Now we got, we're going to negative 8, and we got some negative work here that's going to cancel with this positive work, and overall we got 0. Part D, all this is the same, except for we're going to negative 0 0.1, 10 centimeters. And this should make sense that the work is negative. This turns out to be negative 14.4 joules should make sense that it's negative because we're going all the way to 10 negative 10 that's negative work so all that's everything else over here cancels cancel 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 so we're left with a negative amount of work over here and that so from here to from here, 8 negative 8 to negative 10 is negative 14.4 joules and that's that's it for this problem so um, Hooke's law we did the integral of that to get work and we talked a little bit about how positive and negative work cancel out. And yeah, oh, don't forget that the slope of a f versus x graph gives you the k value. Of course, if this is not a straight line, then the k value changes, and that's it's not a spring anymore. It's a totally different type of phenomena. But yeah, all right, next time, bye.